Hi friends. It's a mail day. So we had fountain pen day and there was stuff I wanted to buy that was related. And here we are. Um, let's do this. So first up from Jet Pens. Uh, maybe we can open this. It stopped raining today, which is nice. It's been raining here, which is also good for us, but it's been nice to have it not rain. Um, but let's see what I ordered, because a part of me doesn't remember. I got, oh yeah, this. I got a pencil case, because look at it. Look at it, oh my gosh. Yeah, so this has that stuff in it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This has like this center pouch, so you can put things in here and have it not be seen, or you can put things on the other side of it and then see it there. This is uh, from Mitte. There's a little bit of a mark on it and you know what I don't care it's fine I could have made this myself but I'd have had to have found this fabric and it actually looks like instead of being sewn this is like heat pressed together at any rate part of the things of being able to make things yourself is knowing when you should just basically pay someone else to do it for you. <laughs> it's understanding what your time is worth. So in here, is well, we all know what happened with Tomorrow River Paper, right? All of a sudden, surprise, you couldn't get it anymore. So I heard about Cosmo Air Light not being made anymore, and I was like, what? But I just discovered how awesome Cosmo Air Snow is, and I don't know if Cosmo Air Snow is also not going to be made anymore. I had a feeling that the answer to that was yes. So I bought two packages of it. <laughs> so... This is just paper, loose leaf. I'll make it into books if I want. And then in here, y'all are gonna be like really impressed or disgusted with my restraint. Possibly both. Um. I'm both. I feel like confused by my own actions and yet proud of them. Okay, this is like a happy fun time here. So, I got glue. It's square glue. I felt like I needed it. I got this Bach nib. I think this is a size five. What do we think? Because this is a six. Yeah, broad I think. 
Um, and then I got this is a broad nib and this is a broad nib. <laughs> so I got three nibs. So this is a, what does it say? Opus 88. And this is an Opus 88. And this, so this is a size five and that's a size six. There you have it. And because it was fountain pen day, I got free goodies in the form of two free pens. So I got this Platinum Preppy, preppy in the medium, the 0.5. I really, I have one other Preppy. It sits on my desk. has a really bright blue in it. You know which one. And I love it. So this is nice. And... I also got a free Pilot Varsity, and I've never used one of these. So I'm excited about both of these. I might, I'm not sure if I'll keep them or if I'll give them away or like potentially like use it, see what I think of it, and then give it away. Who knows? But how can you resist free stuff? Answer? I'm not sure you can. Now, the next box is from Gold Spot. I'm not gonna try and show you the front because you know, address, etc. I don't remember what I ordered at this moment. Oh yes, I do. Wait, do I? Oh <gasps> yes, I do. I have to go get some supplies. Oh, I just, y'all, I just punched myself in my face. I think I split my lip. How? How? I forgot about one of the things that I ordered, but I just remembered. Like the most exciting thing, which is kind of Manda made me do it. Manda has a lot to answer for. JK. JK ILY. Or as her community would say, UCG. Um, okay. So, remember I said like I wanted to do this thing for 30 days, 30 days, but I felt like I needed new paper. Well, and then, so then I got paper. Look at the, look at how bright the sun is, like, coming from outside. Well, whatever. Let me scoot over here and be out of my own sun. So I got a couple of notebooks. I got this one, Nebula Note, ruled. And then, um, this comes in a bag. I got this Endless Recorder with the ink-loving regalia paper, also ruled, because I never used this paper before. So, um, I think as part of 30 inks, we'll be doing some writing in here, and then I'll give my thoughts on them. Also, I for reals, I think I gave myself a fat lip just now. <laughs> hey, Maria, how'd you get a fat lip? Like, look, I was just opening a box, okay? That's like the most like, nobody's gonna blame me story. Like the time my dog punched me in my face. People were like, oh, Maria, is there something you need to tell us? I'm like, no, for real, my dog punched me in my face. The last thing I got, I'm gonna have to get some supplies for, so pausing to do that, okay? Okay. What could I have gotten? Sometimes Sometimes 
Sometimes you're a sucker for a pretty face. So, Scribo, three fluid ounces of ink. Because what I need is more ink. This is in the color Noturno Viola. Night Violet, I think. Or purple. Now, chunk, chonker, I got ink, scrivere significa esistere. Writing signifies life. Oh, writing means existing. Hey, I got close. Crediamo che scrivere aiuti a migliorare noi stessi. Crediamo che l'esercizio della scrittura ci aiuti a mettere in ordine i nostri pensieri. I have no clue what any of that said. I could try and like think about it, but we believe handwriting helps improving ourselves. We believe the writing exercise helps reordering our thoughts and giving shapes to our ideas. Why not? Those are nice things to believe. But will it blend? Um, let's uh, let's swatch this. I came back from my walk and I checked my mail and I was like, oh man. And I got to my front porch and these were both here. I was like, oh, yeah. Um, I think I need paper underneath. Write down no tour no viola boop Sad thing is I can't use this for like a month. It's okay. Oh, yeah, it's pretty. Then we write scribo. Mm -hmm. Here's what I don't need in my ink existence. More purples. So that explains why I got this one. because I needed it. It's beautiful. It's probably exactly like other colors I have, but we're not gonna dwell on that. We're also gonna put the lid on this and just be happy with this chonkin' big bottle. I just kind of wanted this bottle. But look at that color. Come out of here. Why are you being like this?
Stay in there. Well, okay, don't stay in there then. Be that way. So there was my really restrained fountain pen day purchases. I actually feel like I did have one massive splurge, which was this ink. And by massive splurge, I mean like of all the things that I didn't really need, but nibs and glue and paper are all things that kind of go with the stuff I have, right? They help me make use of the items that I already have. Oh, and the pencil case, I suppose. This came to mind because of like the mess of currently inked pens that arises in 30 inks, 30 days, months. Um, so that'll happen. At any rate, thanks for hanging out with me while we looked at random purchases I made. As I help to keep our economy going, that's how we can market this, right? Here we go. We're making our pretty little flat lay. That's just a pile of junk piled in places. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you all for watching. Thanks for hanging out with uh, me. Did you get anything exciting for Fountain Pen Day? Were you also sort of a model of restraint, all things considered? And uh, another question, if you've stuck around, which of these two notebooks are you more excited to see me use? If you write a comment about this before the end of today, I may take your advice. Um, Cause I'm hoping to start on this after work today or at the very least tomorrow. Uh, have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.